first guest is an Emmy-nominated actress and comedian. Her new stand-up special is hilarious. Take a look. I know there's a, there's a good dude in here. You seem like a good dude. And what's your name again? Brian. Brian? That's a good dude name. <laughs> it don't get better than Brian. If Y or I, Brian. <laughs> Both options are good. But Brian, if I was like, yo, I know you taken, but do you have any friends that you can introduce me to? What would you say, Brian? Nah. Every time you ask a dude, what they say? I won't even do that to you, shorty. I won't, I won't even do that to you. Nah, nah, nah. I care about you too much. I care, nah, nah. You don't want none of my friends. Y'all give it up for Yvonne Ortiz! You better look fabulous. I mean, this is the brand new Jennifer Hudson show. Come on! I have to come correct. Baby. You came with it. Yes. I got a question for you. Digame. What you think about that over there? That oh, you mean the, the the big black man with the strong muscles? That's what I see. Oh, I seen them outside. I see. You seen them outside? I seen them, and I was like, ooh. <laughs> <laughs> Honey. That's my basic girl laugh. <laughs> Is that how you flirt? Mm -hmm. That's, yeah, it just, it, it doesn't work. It doesn't work all the time. I don't know. They Is somebody looking? looking they, let hold me, on, let me peek over there for I got feathers. You get... <laughs> <laughs> Tell me what mug you picked. Oh, I picked strong, beautiful, brave, and courageous. Yes. Yes. But I got to let you know. I have a new relationship with the word strong. Mm. I, like, I'm not trying to be a strong black woman anymore. I'm tired. I'm, I'm exhausted. Yes. Okay. I'm, so I, in, in the special, I talk about why I don't want to be a strong black woman. I'm weak. I'm so weak. Oh my God. I need help. I'm so exhausted. So, I, you know, I, I said other races get to be damsels in distress. Right. And we get to, what, wait to exhale? Mm, I'm done. I'm tired. It's time to exhale, huh? I'm, uh, I'm breathing. <laughs> I'm breathing, I'm giving up strength. There, but there is strength and vulnerability. Yes. So that I am re-energizing the word strength and strong with like being, you know, feminine, soft. I love that. Y'all can, can that. have the strength. Y'all can. Congrats on your new stand-up special. Thank you. That's amazing. Um, tell me about your 17-year-old self and your prayer and that whole thing. Oh, yeah, girl. You know, we made vows when we were, you know, younger. We all do. Okay. Because you, 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 you made, made a vow at 17. Yeah, I made, I made a vow. I got, I got saved, and I was like, yes, Lord, <laughs> I'm a foot soldier. <laughs> um, and a couple, <laughs> you know, I'm grown now, and I'm like, hey, God, hey, I kept my end of the bargain. Okay, <laughs> you better stop playing. Because you might have to look for another bench hitter. <laughs> you got, you got two more weeks, Jesus. <laughs> 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 Okay. That, that's how my prayers. Is that how your prayer my is prayer now? Is like, ha ha ha. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> that's, that's, that's it. <laughs> I love it. So your parents, they came to see your, your stand up. They was this did. Their first time seeing it. So okay, the first time my parents saw me do stand up was the like, oh look at them. They so look, my dad in his little bow ties. <laughs> that is hilarious. Listen, so the first time they saw me do stand up was like 2006. Like it was early days. Uh -huh. And they were so mad because I was talking about them. And they were like, why are you saying these things about us? I'm like, that's how comedy works. Like, <laughs> it's not all the way true. It's inspired by true events. And like, we don't want inspiration. <laughs> like, <laughs> <laughs> and so I just, I didn't invite them. I stopped inviting because I was like, it's too much pressure for me. And then they're too sensitive. So my, <laughs> that's how this works. This is what we call boundaries. Um, <laughs> And so my sister-in-law told my mom that like, oh, Yvonne has this huge taping. And my mom called, so the taping was on Thursday. My mom called me Tuesday and was like, we are coming to Los Angeles. I was like, no, nah, y'all don't have to. <laughs> <laughs> we good, like, it's cool. Like, hey, it's gonna come out on TV, y'all gonna see it. <laughs> and they were like, no, we will support you. And I was like, oh, now y'all wanna support? <laughs> This special, because I talk about like estate planning with them. I, it's very personal, but I talk about them a lot, you know? And so I was like, that's not the one y'all should come to. <laughs> <laughs> but they literally booked a flight, bought hotel tickets. I said, wait, wait, so all the time I've been helping y'all out, y'all got this? You got this? <laughs> <laughs> so little did I know, I was like, noted. <laughs> um, they got here, and I, I had to talk to my manager. I was like, DC. I don't want to, like, you got to put them where I can't see them. Like, and don't tell me where they are. Like, they just can't be in my eye line. Because what I don't want to do is be on stage. You yes. know, you don't want to be performing and you just look in the crowd and they're like, yes, that's the worst. 
Why? Did they look at you like that? Yeah, oh, no, because I okay. didn't see them. You didn't see them. I don't know where they were. Okay. okay. I don't know where they were. But then, you know, the camera got them at the end. They were just waving so proud. At, at the end, <laughs> it's so interesting the things that, like, especially immigrant parents are, are excited about. So my mom was like, there was a long line <laughs> of people to see you. I love and I'm like, that. <laughs> that's what it means to say. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. That's what it means to save a comedy show. <laughs> Just all of the white people with cameras. I'm like, wait, what? <laughs> yeah. Okay, so this is hilarious. So you, were you an actress first, then comedian, and then please tell me, you, uh -huh. you, what does it mean to host a funeral? Now, Girl. I don't say I get a lot of funerals. Girl. But I ain't never seen no host in a funeral. Listen, when times <laughs> is rough, you do a lot of things, okay? <laughs> so I was a comedian first, uh -huh. but I always wanted to be an actress. But, you know, no one's just giving people acting right. roles. And so I was like, anytime I can get on the mic, I'll do it. And so, you know, being Nigerian, there's a lot of weight keepings. But it's so weird because you, you're trying to keep the party going, but somebody's dead. And so you're just like, they live their good life. OK, look at them, <laughs> smiling from heaven. You know, like, I don't know. So <laughs> we must celebrate their life. That's, the, uh -huh. that's my job. All I know is my check's clear. Jennifer, why are you? Listen, no, because girl, listen, listen. If I... <laughs> Listen, my uncle owned a funeral home. Okay. It was called the Hudson Funeral Home. And I was the soloist. I should have had his car. You That's see? Because yeah. we can make a book you. Baby. But he didn't go on the glory at this point. But so I just never heard of that. So I was like, I want you to tell me all about that. Uh, yeah, I hosted weddings, baby showers, funerals. I almost hosted a bar mitzvah, but I didn't have enough Jewish friends yet. So. <laughs> but now I'm saying, hey, Mazel Tov, OK? Yeah. Mazel Tov. <laughs>